And uh, in the last part of the lecture, I'm going to talk about the root test. So um, the, the root test is similar to the ratio test. So if we have a series, well, essentially, it only applies to series of positive terms because um, in the root test, um, we are working with the absolute value of um, a term of our series, right? So, but now if in the ratio test, um, we find a n plus one over a n, in the same way in the root test, we find nth root of a n and the conclusion is essentially the same and the intuition is also well very very similar to the ratio test so the idea is that uh, if the limit uh, of the root of um, nth root of a n is l it means that a n itself is approximately equal well nth root of a n is approximately equal to l which means if we raise it to the power n we will see that a n is approximately equal to L raised to the power n. Well, and then basically the idea is that then we apply um, our um, intuition from um, from the geometric series, right? So if the nth root of A n um, has limit L, it means that our series essentially is, is comparable to the geometric series. Okay, so um, if the limit is less than one, then the series converges absolutely. If the limit is uh, bigger than one, then the series diverges. And if the limit is exactly one, then the root test is inconclusive. Okay, and here is how we can apply the root test. Right, so the, the question is, is the given series absolutely convergent? And of course, it means that we can uh, just, just get rid of um, minus one to the n and just take absolute value of a n now nth root of this is going to be this raised to the power one over n uh, which is n raised to the power one over n divided by three and well the limit of this the limit of n raised to the power one over n or nth root of n is 1, so the, the limit of this is going to be 1 third. So, which means that since it is less than 1, the answer is yes. The, this series converges um, absolutely. Now, if you don't remember the, this limit, I, I think it's good to remember that the limit of nth root of n as n goes to infinity is 1. If you don't remember it, so let, let me quickly review how we can derive it. So why is this so? Uh, to derive it, I'm going to use the fitting function f of x, which is the root of degree x of x, which is the same thing as x raised to the power 1 over x. Um, and this is the same as e to the power 1 over x times ln x. And let me take the exponent here and find its uh, its limit. Yeah? So what is the limit as x goes to infinity of along x divided by x? Well, and you, you, you can guess that the limit is zero because um, along x grows slower than x. So and the bigger x is, the smaller is the ratio, right? So the, the limit should be zero, but again, Strictly speaking, it is um, an indeterminate form of the type infinity over infinity. So to to do it, um, we can uh, apply L'Hopital's rule. So we take the limit, the derivative x to the power uh, x goes to infinity. The um, Derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Derivative of x is uh, is 1. And this is 0. Okay. So, which means uh, that the exponent has limit 0. 
right? So the limit uh, of the expression itself is e to the zero, which is one. Okay, so th this is how we can find, uh, how we can check that th this series converges absolutely. Okay, so here is the same thing. So here is again, so the uh, limit of n raised to the power um, one over n. And uh, let me just finally notice that uh, in this case, we can actually apply um, the ratio test as well, right? So how can we apply the ratio test? So to apply the ratio test, we write a n plus one over a n, so the ratio, and it's going to be n plus one over what? Three raised to the power n plus one times three to the n divided by n. So this is uh, three to the n divided by three to the n plus one, so n cancels out. So this is just one third times n plus one over n, which is one third, one plus one over n. This goes to zero and the limit is one third. And again, it is less than, sorry, less than one. So the series converges, converges absolutely. So notice that the, the limit is the same, is one third in, in both cases. And in fact, it is a, there is a theorem that um, if there exists um, one of the, these limits, well, if there exists, if the limit of the ratio is L, then the limit of the nth root is also going to be L. But there are cases when the limit of the root exists, but the limit of the ratio does not. So in, in some sense, the, the uh, root test is more powerful than the ratio test, but um, in, in practice, usually the ratio test is easier to apply unless, you know, the, um, the, the series kind of artificially designed so that the root test will be applicable, but the ratio test is not applicable. So usually the, the root test is easier to apply, which you, you just saw here. All right, um, so basically, that's that's all for today and uh, here is the last quiz.